Now, if while you're kind of painting it down, the hair starts to bunch up a little bit or become not as straight as you would like, you can actually take your comb and comb it right on here. Um, I would suggest taking something like your finger and holding the hair down right before the place that you comb. That way it doesn't pull anything behind it. And just kind of work it down like that. This is another reason I suggest doing it a little bit at a time because if you have this hair wrapped all the way down to here and then you want to go back and start combing it, it could mess the whole thing up. So just go bit by bit, take your time. And see how nice that looks. It's all nice and even and straight. It's also good to have maybe a rag or a washcloth or some paper towels um, to clean your hands off because it can get a bit messy. As you can see, sometimes you may uh, wind up applying the silicone a little thickly, um, and you don't want it to be super gloppy. Um, you should be able to see the hairs underneath them. If not, you may want to take some off, so take something like a, a rag or a cloth or a paper towel and just gently wipe away the extra. Now when you get to the little tufty end of hair like this, uh, don't worry if it doesn't go all the way down. Um, your hair doesn't really need to be too long, it can actually be harder when it's too long because it gets tangled more easily. Um, you can make it uh, go together seamlessly and look like one continuous piece of hair without it actually being one continuous piece of hair. So I have these kind of loose straggly ends here. I'm going to snip them off. Um, if you're using a thicker piece of hair, don't cut it directly like this. Um, you may want to just snip at it like that and trim it so that it frays a little bit at the end. You want it to be a little bit thinner, that way it, um, it will go into the next piece of hair nicely. So what you're going to do is you're going to, just like you would a normal piece of hair, put down some silicone over it. I'm going to put a little dab right there, too. And you're going to just paste it right down. And there you go. You have successfully put down one piece of hair. <laughs> so you also want to remember to get the tops um, and the bottoms of these hair drills. What I've been doing is um, I've been applying all of the, um, I've been filling up all of the space down to about where the hair stops and then I will go back and do a thin piece on the top. Then I'll finish the rest of the bottom, do the thin piece on the top, on this half, and then when it's dry, um, because it, it, it's kind of hard to paste it under like this, when it's dry, I just take it off and do that one piece at the very end. Um, I'm going to show you how to apply it at the top on this other one that I've been working on. 
So this is what your hair drill should look like after maybe two hours of work. Well, it's two hours for me. I work kind of slowly on these. As you can see, I haven't covered the bottom yet. It's, um, I'm still missing a few pieces. You can see how the hair is covering that part. That's what you want it to look like. I forgot to mention, um, sometimes wigs have these shorter hairs uh, towards the top that they don't have towards the bottom, um, and that can kind of mess up the way uh, that you apply your hair. So if you see kind of lots of short, shorter strands sticking out, maybe around the middle or closer to the top, just grab the hair firmly at the bottom and gently pull this way, and you'll get some of those uh, shorter, loose hairs out. Also, I usually uh, trim this part a little bit. Um, with my scissors, I just kind of cut it at um, upward in a bit of an angle. To just kind of thin it out um, so you don't have this like, it can create bumps in your wig if the hair starts suddenly really thickly. You may need to clean the clumps of silicone out of your brush every once or out of your comb every once in a while. During this process, you'll probably wind up getting some flyaways, which are these, these unattractive uh, little hairs that will kind of start falling out. Um, so all you got to do is, like, as you go along, just trim them off, get them out of the way. They usually aren't. Every once in a while you just go back in, trim it up a bit, clean it up. So essentially, uh, you're just going to keep adding hair all the way down. Um, when you have, when you want to add new hair onto a place, say like around here, where as you can see, or kind of because of the glare, sorry about that. Um, this is where the hair stopped, and that's where we ran out of hair. Um, you're gonna do the same thing that you did when you went to apply hair in the first place. Just thin out the ends a bit, um, put some silicone on it, and just place it maybe with about half an inch to an inch overlapping over that. And just keep going all the way around, blend it in a little bit. You shouldn't be able to tell that um, that's where a new bit of hair has started. Um, and you're just going to cover the whole thing. Um, at the end here where the tip is and the same thing on the other side where it's going to attach to your hair once it's completely dry you can go back in with a little bit of hair and um, paste it on the inside this stuff takes I would leave it alone for about 12 hours I wouldn't touch it um, it takes about a week or two to fully cure um, but you should be able to touch it and it's uh, it's fairly dry and hard to the touch within 12 to 24 hours. Um, just read the instructions on the clucking that you get.
that is basically how you create um, hair drills. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Um, I have more tutorials on my YouTube channel, and I also have um, more tutorials on my DeviantArt. That's faxen.deviantart.com, F-A-X-E-N.deviantart.com. I'll put the link up somewhere. Um, I have various tutorials such as how to create fake piercings for cosplay, how to create uh, fake teeth for cosplay, um, how to cover up your eyebrows for cosplay. There's a bunch of stuff on there. Go ahead, feel free to check it out. Um, good luck cosplaying, everybody. Okay, so after many, many hours of work, um, here's the completed wig. So, um, the way that I wound up attaching the drills uh, was on the inside of the, um, of the top of the drill. I had three wires sticking out, and I hooked them through the wefts. And um, after I hooked them through the wefts, I clamped them shut, and then I used silicone um, and hairspray to bring the hair that was up here down into the curl like that. And um, that hides the uh, the top of the drill. I also added some um, invisible string, like fishing line, into the inside of the drills. Um, because there are so many of these and they're so heavy, um, as the wearer wears it throughout the day and these bounce, eventually they'll start to drag down and sag a little bit, so I put those there for extra strength just in case. I'm sure that if you had more wires, I just have one in the middle, if you had maybe like two or three or even more than that, um, it may not do that as much, but I put it there uh, for good measure.